It is time for our weekly check-in with Dr. Zorba Pastor. We'll be taking your questions for Dr. Pastor in the next <coughs> segment, and we'll let you know when it's time to call in. Some big COVID-related developments today as UW-Madison tries to grapple with 456 new positive cases in Dane County. Dr. Zorba Pastor joining us from his clinic in Oregon. Hi, Zorba. Good to see you guys. Good to see you as well. Let's start with a temporary halt to the vaccine trial that included the UW. Is that alarming to you at all? No, it's actually very typical of any uh, pharmaceutical trials that we do. So when someone comes down with uh, a side effect or a possible, rather maybe not a side effect, but a possible side effect, what you want to do from a safety point of view is say, is this a concurrent disease or is this something that is actually caused by it? Now, the side effect of, or possible side effect of this is something they really want to evaluate. So one of the patients on the trial, remember you've got thousands of people on the trial, has something called transverse myelitis, which basically is an inflammation of the central nervous system. Something that can happen with or without medication, can be caused by viruses, can also be caused as a side effect. And so what they did was logically, let's put a halt to the trial, let's find out what happened, let's find out whether or not there were risk factors for this person, and let's compare results. So they're doing the proper thing when they look from a safety point of view. It does not mean that the vaccine caused it by any means. It means that the safety monitoring board is doing a good, they're doing a good deed by saying let's stop the trial and let's do an evaluation. Very typical with all pharmaceutical studies, very, very typical with any vaccine study. Safety first and then we look at efficacy mm -hmm. along with that. All right, that's very reassuring. Boy, we had, a, we broke a record today, 456 new yes. positive cases in Dane County. We are right, clearly right. not out of the woods yet. Right. We are not out of the woods and a lot of those cases Cases, of course, come from uh, students who are basically at the university and then milling with students. So as soon as the students Students, for instance, for example, we're told we've got to shelter in place in the dorms. You look at all of the grocery stores around there, like Pick and Save, and they were filled with students who are loading food up in the dorm. When they're going to Pick and Save, if some of those students actually had COVID, that was the way it could be spread, which is why wear a mask, wear a mask, wear a mask. Should you wear a mask? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, it's time to call in with your questions. 270-9933 is the number to call. We'll get to your calls right after this.